What is up, everybody? It's uh, February 17, 2019. We're getting ready for this uh, winter storm to hit us. Winter storm warning in effect. We're expecting three to five inches during the day and three to five inches at night. So we shall see. We shall see. We're driving in Sugarloaf right now. You can see these clouds rolling in over the mountain. We're getting a little bit of snow coming down with them. How funny is that? There's nothing above us except the beautiful sun, but we're getting some snow right there. See it? Do you guys see it? Do you see it? Do you see it good? Do you see it good? So anyway, yeah guys, it's a beautiful day. It's 28 degrees. If you can see, yes you can, barely. 28 degrees and 1.15 p.m. in Sugarloaf, California. Yes, yes, yes. So, the further we go this direction, the more snowflakes we are encountering. As you guys can see. As you can see, These clouds right here are moving so fast. Look at that, dude, look at that, right? Holy fast cloud action, bro. Hey, 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 man. Hey, man. All right, so, yeah. Learning to love haters, guys. Learning to love haters. Anyway, we are almost where we need to go. Callens is a good, good restaurant up here in Sugarloaf, you guys. I absolutely love it. Fantastic stuff. There you go, buddy. Take your time walking across the street, please. Thank you. All right, so we need to go to Moreno as we're getting some snow in Sugarloaf. Sugarloaf, Sugarloaf. And I'm gonna be turning right here, man. Okay, okay. For privacy of my customer, I'm shutting it off right now. Love you guys very much. And uh, yeah, get ready for the snowstorm, as Oprah Winfrey would say. <laughs> All right, guys, so yeah, so we are leaving Sugarloaf now, and look at how fast those clouds just covered us up. It was just blue skies not five minutes ago. <laughs> yes, he's a strange fella. He's a strange fella. But yeah, so we are on Maple Lane, folks. Maple Lane, and we're getting some snow in Sugarloaf. 28 degrees, bruh. 119 p.m., bruh. Hey, Oh, dude, look at that guy with a man. So here we go, man. Here we go. They're just running there, guys. Yep. Anyway, we are at Barton Road. It's going to make a ride on Barton because we actually got to go uh, over towards East Big Bear Boulevard to complete this mission of Vuk. It's missing a buck, man. It's a, it's a buck. Oh, dude, if this mo freaker goes right, I'm going to be pissed. Okay. He he didn't. Now this guy's going to go, though. You, you, you better drive, bro. You better drive at a good pace. Okay. And yeah, so, guys, so, like, uh, um, as much as I'm trying to be different and not cuss as much or this and that, um, I'm finding it that it, it, it's kind of stressing me out to, like, not be, be me. So... Where I'm at is, if you guys like my channel, fantastic. I'm really happy to, to, to have you here. But if you can't accept me for who I am, I don't want you here. <laughs> find, find something else to do. You know, don't need you. So, um, and if you want to leave me constructive criticism, that's fine. If it's constructive, I'll take it into consideration. And and if the shoe fits, I'll wear it, for sure. But if you come at me like the sanctimonious cunts that some of you like some of these freaking people can can be i i freaking lose it and uh yeah so it is what it is i appreciate you guys caring so much and uh the only reason i try to watch my mouth is is for the ladies and the children and that's it that's it that is it so anyway i love you guys we're back down to highway 38 there's a bunch of traffic coming in we're getting some snare Snow, 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 till our daddy took a team and away. Wee! Come on, buddy! Hey, buddy, go, bro! Hey, bro! Hey, bro! Alright, we're gonna shut it off right now because it's traffic. Boom! Okay, okay, so now we're, we made the turn finally. It took us 37 minutes to make that turn onto Big Bear Boulevard. Just kidding. Not 37, 36 and a half. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, so we're on Highway 38, folks. We're getting some snow. Storm's coming in from that direction. Direction, eh? Looking good, man. It's looking good, man. I'm glad I'm able to do this for you guys. Um, just 
It's just so, dude, having those live feeds with you guys is so amazing to have so many of you showing, showing love and showing each other love. I love to see that. It's a lot of loves. But I love to see that. You guys are truly magnificent people. Um, it's a real, 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 real blessing to, 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 you know, to have you guys as a part of my life here. So thank you. Thank you, thank you. And I hope that I absolutely bring joy and then some to you guys. I hope I made the right turn. I don't think I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. So this is my other homeboy. And he's a manager at one of the stores up here, so I can't let him be seen either. Anyway, I love you guys. Peace in the Middle East, and we're gonna finish the recording on the way back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at those clouds straight ahead. Boom. All right, my people from another woman's Neeple. Um, we are, uh, so this is obviously the attachment to the video. We're gonna head back up through uh, Sugarloaf, you guys, because traffic in town is insane. We're gonna go through uh, Moonloaf. Yep. We're gonna go through Moonloaf. I like it a lot. Oh yes, I like it a lot. And we're gonna try to make it quick because I don't get much phone service up here. Is it right or wrong? And to hit the bone, it is a way you never say. And to love. The gun. All right, so we're gonna stop up here for a moment. I just gotta get some snow. Um, <laughs> that sounded bad. Just gotta get some snow. Blow some snow, yeah, bro. We're gonna be blowing some snow later. Yeah. All right, man. So anyway, uh, just gotta pull over for a moment. For a momentito aquí, vamos, vamos para uno minuto, uno minuto, vamos a parar aquí. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. So what's the what's the, what's the scenario? So what I'm gonna do this time I'm gonna clean my windshield since my uh, windshield wiper fluid is frozen. This is what we do, yo. This is what we do, yo. Oops. Put, the, put it in park, yo. Okay, folks, let's make like a baby and head out, yeah? So what's gonna get us in trouble in terms of windshield uh, getting dirty is when we follow behind other vehicles that are kicking up the doit, kicking up the doit. So guys, we are definitely headed through Moonloaf to get back to the homestead, ma. Hey, man. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Bola, hey. Anyway, so. So, so, so. Gosh, dude, there's a good song playing in the background right now, and I wish I could turn it up. But for some reason, when I play music, it blocks my videos worldwide. What it used to do, and I didn't care, is it says, oh, your video can't be monetized. Who cares, dude? It's not like these videos make much money anyway. Like, <laughs> you know? Like, I do it because I love this. But if I have an opportunity to monetize it just for doing what I love to do, why not do it? Only a moron would say, oh no, it's no. So, but yeah, so it's just really weird. For some reason, when I, when I play music in the background, it, oh my gosh, this is such a dangerous turn right here, especially when it's icy like this, guys. Um, when I play music, unfortunately, it says blocked worldwide. When it only used to say a copyright claim has been, you know, blah, blah, blah. You're not in any trouble, don't worry. It's just you're not going to be able to monetize that particular video. Not a problem. Like, don't care. Don't care. But I want you guys to know that, trust me, dude, I love rocking, rocking out, cruising around. And then, uh, but if you, if you guys can't see these freaking videos, then what's the point? <laughs> you know? <laughs> so. And I will love nothing, nothing, no, no, I know I've been there before. Hey, and it won't be rain. Yeah, and it won't be scarred like that. Alright, so yeah, we're starting to get some, some good snow up here, guys. 
This is pretty amazing, man. It's pretty beautiful, pretty amazing. We're gonna get it, gonna get all the snow, man. We're gonna get all the snow. So as you guys know, the Moon Loaf, that uh, that's the route we are taking. Moon Loaf is a connection between Sugar Loaf and Moon Ridge, and it is one of the most absolutely godsends of a of a road um, when we have a bunch of tourism in town because everyone stays to the main main roads down below and my gosh it can take you to get from Baldwin to Boulder Bay literally four hours um, I've been in that traffic before <laughs> trust me I know I'm sure a lot of you know but yeah so talk to another one of my friends up here Don um, Don's a great 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 man a wonderful family um, I, I like his daughter Kat in, in, in an awful lot she's a sweetheart I worked with her at Bear. Anyway, he's somebody who drives around town, you guys, during this kind of weather, and if he sees someone stuck, he has his tow rope with him, and he'll just help you out for free most of the time, you guys. So just know there are people like that up here still, so don't worry about it, all right? Um, I, I told him how much he means to me that he's willing to you know do that for you guys because a lot of people up here... Um, as soon as you guys get here, they start complaining and then they start overcharging and price gouging and and uh, just charging usurious rates for everything. And I wonder why you guys never want to come back. So I'm trying to find all the people who are selfless, who are willing to go out of their ways for you guys and uh, help you out because I don't want you guys to have a bad time up here. You know, if you come up to Big Bear and it's snowing, you might have a bad time. <laughs> If you french fry when you're supposed to pizza, you're going to have a bad time. <laughs> so yeah, so we are entering Moon Loaf. It's 25 degrees. All this wetness in front of us is ice. So that's why I'm just kind of a little bit nervous right here. But we're we're making it. And look at, oh my gosh, look at these guys. That might be a Subaru though, that white car. So he's, he's probably good. But I'm hoping we actually make it through here. We shouldn't have a problem. No, that's a BMW. The guy, the guy should, dude, the guy should have taken a freaking picture. All right, parents need to be parenting. You know, <laughs> like that kid almost slid right into the street. You didn't hear any parents saying nothing, but it is what it is, dude. It is what it is. Oh my gosh, guys, this is nuts. Look at how deep this is right here. Like, holy crap. How am I gonna, oh my gosh, guys, this is nerve wracking. Nerve wracking, but I think we're gonna make it. I think we're gonna make it. Oh my god, god, please, no, please, guys. That is like two feet deep right there. Not the snow, but just uh, that part of the road. And unfortunately, why that's oh my gosh, guys, this is insane. Oh, we're gonna bottom out right here. Look at this. Oh my gosh, guys, this is not good. Holy schmoly, guys. I can't believe we just made that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. Happier than queer at boys camp. As you guys know, it's like exit. Yeah, dude. When I was driving by, that guy was just staring at me, so I just stared right back, and he lost the stare competition. He looked away first. Look at this guy. Wow. Oh my gosh, See, we're gonna bottom out right here. Oh shit. Guys, that's insane right there. Oh my gosh, this is really dangerous right now. Do you guys see how deep these these crevasses are that these tires have uh, created from all these other trucks? It's insane. Like look, we're probably gonna bottom, oh my gosh, dude, I don't know if the clearance is gonna make it, right? Oh shit, dude, look at this fucking guy. <laughs> you got it? Thank you guys, I appreciate it. Dude, why don't you wait, bro? Th thanks guys, I appreciate it. You guys have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, that was intense, guys. Oh shit. <laughs> well, we're totally running sideways. <laughs> Guys, that was insane. That's the gnarliest time that I've ever had in Moonloaf. 
Ah, sh oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! There we go! Oh wow! That wow, guys, that was really messed up, dude. I can't believe how gnarly this road is right now. Dude, we almost just crashed three different times. We couldn't stay straight. We are going sideways on this thing. This is insane. <laughs> guys, oh look, people took out the fence right here. Oh my gosh, which we are right on. Oh my gosh, we're right on our way to do it too. Oh my God, that was insane. <laughs> oh God. Oh man, not this fucking guy stuck, bro. Are you fucking kidding me? Come on. Let's go, bro. I feel bad for that. Oh, there he goes. Good. But guys, like that was NARS right there. I don't think we're gonna be going back there until we get a bunch more snow. And that might not even work out for us. Oh my gosh, dude. Come on, people. Dude, are you cereal? Come on, barnyard. You guys, just know that this is scary right now. This is not freaking cool. This is not cool. Dude, come on, man. Dude, don't go over the cliff. Be dude, I'm worried about that guy in that truck, dude. Dude, what the fuck, man? Come on. Sorry, guys. I'm just really freaking frustrated because this is what happens, dude. You just get morons up here. Just, uh... And this, they're, they're probably locals, to be quite freaking honest. Dude, unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Come on, bro. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Dude, fucking tools, bro. Dude, why don't you back up so I can get in? Yeah, dude, dude. All I had to do was pull it I was dealing with that the out. whole fucking way. Yeah, bro. Fucking morons, dude. Hey, you have a great day. <laughs> oh, right there. Oh, dude. I'm jealous as fuck. It's a great spot, bro. Hey, man. You have a great day, okay? Thank you. I appreciate it. See you later. <laughs> that was awesome, dude. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, guys, that was so cool. <laughs> you know what? I'm glad I have a beard now because I I, I probably look like a, a local. It, like that guy was as local as they get right there. So I was really, really, really honored that he didn't jump out and try to like smash me. But I wouldn't blame him. <laughs> anyway, guys, wow, that was super cool. Now we're we are in the Moon Ridge area. Upper Moon Ridge, getting some blowing snow. Yeah, we're not gonna follow that donkey. So, here we go, yeah? We're gonna go up into higher, some higher Moon Ridge. Yeah, that, that was really cool, you guys. I've uh, never experienced that road where it was that nuts. Um, the clearance was just, oh, hey, mama, how you doing? Hey, how you doing, mama? She. Um, yeah, I've, I've, I haven't experienced moon loaf like that. Um, it's not that there was that much snow, but you could tell that there were people who were just spinning their wheels making those, uh, those, uh, 
those tire impressions deep as can be. And my car kind of was sitting on top of some of those deep marks for a little bit, uh, a few different times. That was that 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 was kind of hairy. Uh, obviously, we're, we're you know we're, we're not going to get stuck out there. You saw traffic coming through, but <laughs> yeah, dude, that's just so cool, man. That is so cool. So cool, huh? So this is a beautiful neighborhood up here, you guys. Upper Moon Ridge. It's just it's very difficult in the winter time. Um, you know, to constantly have to go up and down, up and down, up and down, because these roads can get extremely treacherous. And when it's just ice, you guys, my goodness, it doesn't matter what you drive, because you just, you can't make it up the hill. Like when we get freezing rain and stuff, you will not be able to make it up this hill. It doesn't matter what you drive. You'll just slide, slide, slide. But yeah, guys, so yeah, Moonloaf was great just now. Wow, that was awesome, man. That was awesome and how dangerous parts of it were. See you guys, I put myself in those situations so you guys can see what it's all about up here. And like that's that's like one of the best roads you can take to uh and and, and look at this guy parked parked in the street. Very go guy. Smart smart guy there, buddy. Smart guy there. Hey, you know what? Uh which which oh yeah, we're gonna go down this right? This this route, huh? Now this is gonna be dangerous as all freaking hell. Look at this. Why did I choose to go this route? Just keep going this slow and oh my gosh, dude. This is not not good. You know what? What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn around and go back up. Cause I don't wanna deal with this. We're gonna lose total control. And we don't want that. We don't want it now. No, we don't want that now. I don't care if I crash into the back here, into the snow pile. That's all good. Okay, okay. Guys, guys, guys. So, instead of taking the emergency route down, we're going to take some of the back streets so we get down a little... It's going to take a little longer, but it's not going to be as dangerous. But it's not... It's, it's still going to be pretty gnars. Still going to be pretty gnars, yeah? So, we're going to make a left here on, on Canyon Cresta. Canyon Cresta. So, yeah. Canyon Crest. And let's see. And let's see. Canyon Crest is a breast. Alright, so we just gotta go so slow right here, guys. This is absolutely treachery, yeah? It's fucking it's freaking treacherous, yes? It's very treacherous, eh? It's beginning to snow now in town. Oh, the town is beginning to get a little bit of snow, a little bit of snow. I was not impressed by your performance. I was not impressed by your performance, huh? Were you impressed with my performance? Okay, guys, this is going to be another scary part right here. Not bueno, but it's okay. Um, I put myself it at risk and in jeopardy for you guys. So you guys can see what the roads are like. We are going five miles per hour. or Actually, nine miles an hour. Sorry, it looked like it said five, but it's nine. And, uh, yeah. What you want to do is you don't want to... Uh, uh, you, you don't want to depress the brakes too much um, but when you get to what seemingly seem like drier patches then apply the brakes like I am now and get really slow again so when you hit this snowy ice then you can afford to pick up a little bit of speed don't be touching your brakes or anything like that on the ice or snow because that'll send you sideways and uh, and then panic sets in overcorrection sets in and then devastation can ultimately set in from there and we don't want that we don't want that okay guys so we made it down that that part now we got one more pretty good treacherous area to get through and then we will be good so what's what's, what's this street right here uh calusa calusa yo we're on calusa yo wow guys getting some pretty good snow now it's snowing good now <laughs> It's snowing good. Okay, so this is going to be pretty dangerous right here. Make sure on the dry patch you get as slow as you can get right here because if you can see, we got a little bit of ways to go of this steep slope right here. That is going to be a problem. And I had a few friends staying here a couple days ago and we stopped by and said hello. How cool is that? Very cool. I love you guys. Missed you guys. 
Um, yeah, so, okay, guys, here it is. Right here, this is NARS. So we're gonna go super, super slow. I'm gonna keep as much of my right side of the tires on the dry, or what is, what I perceive it to be dry. Now we got two dry pads. Now I can touch the brakes a little bit more. Now we're back on ice again. Don't touch the brakes. We're dry again. Tap them if you can. Get as slow as you can right here. My right side is on the pavement. Okay, now I'm just gonna let my brakes and gas go and not touch anything until we get to this dry patch. Just barely touch it right there. Just barely touch it. Now let go again and just lightly tap. I know we're on ice and snow, but lightly, I'm telling you, light as can be. Now we're on the dry patch, hit the brakes a little better. Now we're back on the ice, let go, okay? Let go. If, you, if you're getting way too much speed, don't freak out. Just tap the brakes. If your brakes lock up, let go immediately and start tapping again. Your brakes will lock up. It's totally normal. So even though it's supposed to be anti-lock brakes, it's, it's gonna happen. So now, this is one of the greatest places for sledding, you guys, that I like to take all of you right here. It's in between the, these uh, neighborhoods right here. Look, this whole gully area right here, it's 23 degrees outside, guys. It's 153, 23 degrees. But yeah, so down through here, you sled down this side, come up the other side, you're, you're not gonna get hit, hit by cars, your kids will have a great time. Or you can start on that side and sled down and come up this side. So yeah, it's just an awful lot of fun um, and safe, safer. Um, anyway, guys, right on, right on. So yeah, we are coming back down into lower moon, moon Ridge right now. Kind of like near where I live. And then we're gonna get this video patched together and uh, yeah, guys, very cool, eh? very, very cool. This is what I like to see, yeah. Here we we. Here we we, huh? The cheval, huh? Cheval, huh? I'm back to Alright, so. I'm about ready to eat some lunch too. Okay, so we got some more ice right here. Just, just tippity tap. Just give it a little tappy. Tap, tap, tap a -roo. Come on, just give it a little tappy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we are on Sheephorn right now, guys. And we are coming up to Moonridge Road. So when you're on Sheephorn, go up to Calusa and make a right, and then you'll find that that gully area, which is over here. It goes this the whole way through here. It's basically like a little wash. But when we get snow, as you can see, you could go down one side, up the other. You don't have to worry about going in, going into the streets. I don't want any of you guys as kids to have any issues. So yes, yes, yes. We are in the the uh, the, the Moorish area. Now we're coming to Moorish Road. Yes. And we make a right. And we make a right. It's gonna be good, man. We make we make a right, yes. Oh my gosh, am I gonna get to go in front of this guy? I don't think so. Yes, I am, because I'm not gonna let him freaking. All right, cool. Sweet, sweetness, yeah. Oh yeah, going skiing. Woo! Yep. Guys, I really hope you guys have a fantastic time up here. These conditions are beautiful right now. I know we got a bunch of rain, but we've had a few inches of snow to actually make up for that so it's not going to be as gnarly conditions out there as originally anticipated and you know what dude look at this traffic right here what a bunch of donkeys all right so we're gonna have to turn right here because we're not gonna deal with all these morons all these morons all these morons all these morons and honestly, guys, it's it's most of the time when I see people causing traffic problems up here, it's a lot of the times the locals, you guys. Because you can tell because they, they have like Big Bear stickers on their car or stickers that say Big Bear Local. And it's it's really unfortunate that a lot of our locals really feel like, uh, like they have a problem with the tourists. And it's always been mind-boggling to me because without you guys, we have nothing. We're, we have nothing. Um, I can't live here without you guys. You guys come up here and spend money and you have a great time. Like, like that's, that's, I, I, I you know, you, you guys are what make this town the town. Big Bear would be nothing and it would totally suck without you guys. So I'm, I'm grateful for you guys. I don't bitch and complain. Like if, 
if you guys ever look at some of like the the Big Bear local like Facebook channels and stuff or whatever they are, dude, people talk mad smack on you guys, and it's just mind boggling, dude. It's like these people are just projecting. You know, I I love my town. I'm telling you guys, I love my town. I love my people. I love it. I love it. My people, yeah. But I don't like having you guys being disrespected, especially when you guys are the reason that we're all able to live up here. And never forget that, you guys. You guys are that important to us up here, at least to me. But when you look at these Facebook channels and stuff, man, the locals hate tourists. It's just sad. It's just sad. But then when the tourists want to buy something from from the uh, quintessential local, then the local's nice. They put on a fake smile and stuff. Yeah. I'm not saying all of them. I'm not saying all of them, guys. I'm saying a significant portion just really have a problem with the tourism, and it's really irritating to me. You guys are my homies, and and uh, as far as I'm, I'm concerned, you guys are just as local as me. You know? You guys are my friends. You ride around with me all the time. You guys comment with me all the time. You guys show me love all the time. And I, 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 I can't even begin to tell you guys how much you guys mean to me. Um, it frustrates me that my local townspeople, lots of them have an issue with you guys. Um, it's, it's, as I said, it makes zero sense. It makes zero sense. Like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. But you know what someone told me? The guy who owns Get, Get the Burger, when I was working there, he told me the reason why people move up here is because they can't hack it down the hill in the real world. And I found that to be very offensive. Um, you know, he's entitled to his opinion and stuff, which, which, which is cool. His name's Eric. He's entitled to his opinion. But I, I got to tell you, I moved up here because I love the snow and I love the winter weather. I never imagined I'd be doing a YouTube channel. Like, who would have thought that? Like, but... Anyway, I love you guys so much, and thank you guys for putting up with us up here. I know some of us can be kind of mean, and uh, just know, don't don't be mean back. Just be nice and uh, let them realize what they are absolutely missing out on, because as I said, less than 15% of people actually come back up here. Less than 1-5%. So, anyway guys, we're back on Moon Ridge Road, almost home. I love you guys very much. Peace out, and I will be updating very shortly once we uh, start getting some more weather coming in. Peace out. Oh, February 17th, 2019. Woohoo! Big Bear Lake, California, 24 degrees. Snowing like a fool.